Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you how to find Bardoon. And he's a really interesting NPC. He's got his tail right here, and we're going to find his face, and eventually he's going to look like this. Starting right here on the map, we are over in Kingdom's Edge, and we're going to be starting at this bench. We're going to make our way down and to the left, and then make our way straight up above the acid. And eventually, we're going to find Bardoon, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I always thought the Kingdom's Edge was really interesting, especially the way that it's got all the ash that's coming down. It kind of looks like snow, but apparently it's actually like molt, ash, whatever, from a uh, the worm that is up towards the top. All right, so once you make your way to this acid, we're going to make our way straight up from here. And it's just a lot of little jumping, a lot of little platforming. Definitely helps if you've got the double jump, which I'd imagine if you've, if you've made it to here, you probably got double jump. So right over here, this little opening, there's actually something pretty cool. Here we go. Here's Bardoon's. Uh, there's his tail and you can smack him around a little bit he gets a little giggle out of it apparently he thinks it's funny so anyway if we press on over this way we can keep making our way up and you just got to watch out for these primal aspids they're so annoying oh my gosh let me know in the chat how much you dislike the primal aspids There we go, we'll keep making our way up. And what's cool is that you actually can one-shot the Primal Aspids with the Great Slash. Also, while we're here, there's a little room over to the right, just like that. And it's one of these. I always thought these were cool, the lifeblood rooms. All right, so pressing on, if we keep going up, Get rid of the Primal Aspids again. It's kind of a lot of platforming just to make your way all the way up to the very top. Oh, and we gotta go this way. And here we go. Bardoon. Oh, I'm a tiny thing. You climb high. Seek the kingdom of these lands. This ashen place is grave of worm. Once told... It came to die, but what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of being spawned from that event. There we go. It is you bothering about my tail? Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. Oh, ho, ho. The mark of worm you bear. Is it change you seek? Or to save this ruin? That choice is yours. Always the smallest creatures that attempt the largest things. It evolves beyond that one. Such union in a single being. A strength before unseen. Would it too challenge nature? It could perhaps defeat it. The falling ashes molt, the worm's corpse decaying, endless, hmm, serene, sad. With its like gone, the world is smaller. Don't mistake, I am not worm. Too small I am, too many limbs. No foresight like the old things. For quiet retreat, I did climb up here away from the spitting creatures. <laughs> Even he doesn't like the primal aspids. Yes, high up, away from simple minds, lost to light. Theirs is different kind of unity. Rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure. Union it may offer, but also a mind buffet of thought. Too distinct alone, a bug is reduced. Hmm. Be on your way then. 
its rest I'll return to, though in these times sleep oft proves uneasy. All right, and so that was the last little bit of dialogue there. So now for a little bit of fun facts and lore around Bardoon. It says that in the game files, Bardoon is known as the Big Caterpillar. Bardoon is one of the few NPCs that can be hit with the nail without taking damage. And Bardoon is one of the few NPCs who are able to detect when they're being dream nailed. The others being the midwife, the white lady, the seer, and the snail shaman. So let's go ahead and try using that. One prefers its mind not to be pride. It's rather unsettling, rather invasive. Interesting. So you can't get in at all. And if you're wondering who the midwife is, it's the spider-like creature found in the southern part of Deep Nest. And she's the thing that like pops out of the, the side of the cliff in the darkness. It looks kind of funky here. I'll put a little picture right here. So I want to see his body wiggling around in the cliff face. Like, do you see it anywhere? Is that him in the, the very, very far background back there? Or if we come down a little further? Oh, is, is that it is? Is this the side of it right here? That could be it. I guess that could be part of it right there. I mean, that would be, that'd be one big worm. I guess its tail does come all the way down to here. So I guess that makes sense. That was probably that was probably the, the other side of it. And with that, we found Bardoon. If you want to see even more Hollow Knight NPCs, be sure to click on the short playlist over on the left-hand side. Otherwise, YouTube says the video on the right is best for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relian, and I'll talk to you again more soon.